In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a job in SQL Server for automating a process. So we're going to be creating a simple job that select the top 1000 rows of a table in the AdventureWorks database. So I'm just going to right click on the product table and say select top 1000 rows. So now I'm just going to change it from 1000 to top 10. Let's copy that. Now to create a job, you're going to right click on SQL Server Agent, select New and then select job. Specify a name for your job. Here I'm just going to say top 10 products. You can set a category for your job. Let's say data collector, not required though. Then on steps is where you're going to put the actual code. So create a step. A job can have multiple steps. So let's say step one, get data. And for the type of job, select T SQL script and select database that you want the job to run again. So in this case, it's AdventureWorks LT2025 for me. And then here you would simply paste the command that you want the job to execute and then select OK. Now in a case where you have multiple job steps, to add another job step if you wish, you can select new step, specify the step name and basically repeat the process for the step that you want to add. So I'm just going to select cancel. And then the next step is set a schedule if you wish to have your job scheduled. If you don't want to schedule a job but you want to run it on demand, you can skip this step and just basically select OK. So we're just going to add in a new schedule. I want the job to be executed daily. Ensure it's recurring because the other type is one time. Whenever your CPU becomes idle or the job can start automatically when SQL Server Agent starts. So I am going to change from weekly to daily and then I just specify the time that I want the job to be executed. Now here you can specify the start time of the job. I'm going to keep the default, the start date of the job. And if you need you to end it at a specific date, then you can choose to end the job at a specific date. So I just wanted to say run for the next six days. So let's say I want the job to run for the next five days. I'll end it on the 10th of May. Or if you want it to run indefinitely, you select no end date. So here I'm just going to select OK. Now on the notification, you can choose send a notification when the job fails or succeed. However, to set up the step, you need to create an agent and you'll also need to have DB mail configured. I've done a video on that. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. So I'll uncheck this for now and just select OK. So to see the job, expand, expand jobs. And here at the bottom of the jobs, you can see the job that I created. So you can start the job manually. I just wait for it to execute on the schedule. Now let's select close. Now right click on the job and select view history to see the latest run. Now when you expand it will show you the step that was executed. Once you select the step, let's maximize this window. It will show you details of the job. So if the job had failed, you'll see the arrow in this section. Now no result was displayed because in order for the result to be displayed here, I need to actually print the result. For more training, you can check out my Udemy courses. The link is in the description of this video.